Hey, kid, what you eating? Oh, uh, just some stuff seconds. my mom made me. Helen, can Caroline, I get some water in here or something? Yeah, no problem, right away. Okay. No, we need it now. Uh-huh. Okay, stand by. Cookie, can I have some names, please? Yeah, I got it. Okay, One, everybody. Two, uh, three, Nate, four. I need a soundtrack for you. Hello, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Hey, contestants, how you doing? Glad you could be here. How many people do we have playing today? Uh, 40k. Uh, yeah. Oh, you who? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I need to know how many players we got. Got it. Okay, now, player one, I need your name. Can get something down here, please? This is not it? Come on, now. Hey, hey, I'm sending PA down. All right, all right, all right. All right. Player two, we need your name next. 45 seconds. Okay, guys, that's good. Thanks. Take five. Yeah, you look, you look. All right, player three, you know the drill. Hey, yes. Yeah. One other thing. Are you looking for a seven question tournament game or more like a full 21 question game? Get some veins of that right through it. And then get it on rye bread, it's thick big. crust. Not, the, not that uh, factory made. Player one, your buzzer is letter Q as in Q tip. Um, player two, you have butter. the letter B as in butter me up, chair. baby. And player three, you have the letter P as in cream puff. What do you see in the prompter? 33. Oh, wow. Okay, can you just stand by? I, I, look, I need a PA here right now, on the double. 20 seconds! Okay, heads up. Here's how the game works. The first one of you to buzz in on a question gets first stab at the answer. So you buzz in, and then you press 1, 2, 3, or 4, depending on which answer you want. You read me? 10 seconds. Good luck to ya. Okay, let's get rid of the desktop. Q graphics. Okay, thank you. Let's go to black. Okay, people, let's go stand by. you managed to launch the application. That was good. <laughs> All right, now, if you haven't already done so, check your electrolyte count, because we got some serious questions for you tonight. All right, time to pass out the screws. So here you go, giving all three of you one screw each for round one. All right, now here's the deal with these screws. If you think your neighbor doesn't know the answer to a question, but you want to make them answer it anyway, buzz in and then hit the S key. That's S for screw. So you made it easy to remember. You guys ready to fly? It's time for Blast Off. Okay, we need a category. Your pick, player two. It's number one. Here's the category. Chew to cut and call me in the morning. And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. Let's say that after the flames of the Great Chicago Fire were finally put out, a few citizens came upon a rather dazed-looking cow with Mrs. O'Leary's brand on its butt. If the bovine in question had muddy-colored gums, dilated pupils, and low body temperature, what might a veterinarian's diagnosis be? Open mouth disease, shock, dyslexia, or rabies? Should've picked this. Not that kind of shock. Yeah, the cow had just found out he had no barn owner's insurance. Category, player two, let's do it. The name of this category is Hockey is Not for Twinkies. And this one's gonna be worth $2,000. Get ready to buzz, cause here it comes. You're at an NHL hockey game when a crazed fan throws a hostess snack cake on the ice. Because it's shaped like a puck, a player takes a slap shot at it. Which of these snack cakes was it? A ho-ho, a Suzy Q, a honey bun, or a ding dong? Player one, go nuts. A ding dong. Kind of shaped like a hockey puck. Player one, pick one. The category, Dead Things. And we will pay out $3,000 for this one. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. Which of the following Jurassic Park dwellers is the only dinosaur that actually existed in the Jurassic period? Hadrosaurus, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, or Tyrannosaurus Rex? Player 
three. Who do you want on the pointy end of the screw? <laughs> Got answer, player one. <laughs> Try Sarah Tops. Try Sarah Not. <laughs> player two, player three, want to take a stab at it? Stegosaurus, the cockroach of dinosaurs. It lasted through several periods of the Mesozoic era. Player two, you're busted. Player three, pick a category for me. This one's gonna be chronology and motion sickness. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Imagine you and a friend are paddling a canoe on an exciting whitewater river trip. A big rock is directly ahead at 12 o'clock and a fallen tree at 10 o'clock. Suddenly your friend vomits all over his shirt. If you're in the bow and he's in the stern, where is the vomit in relation to you? 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, or 7.45? Go for it, player two. The bow's in the front facing 12 o'clock, so your friend and his shirt are in the stern at 6 o'clock. And for your sake, I hope there's a strong headwind because the stench of vomit doesn't care what time it is. Player two, pick one. Uh-oh, test nut slick crime store. It's time for a Liquor Pitch No Scope. This gibberish questions category is fun with cottage cheese. The opening value is $5,000. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you gotta think fast because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. Okay, stand by. Tell me, what phrase does this rhyme with? Let's buy way for the tie day. First clue, it would be said by a leader. It's player one, see what you got. Now look, fellas, you might not always like how I do things around here, but remember, let's buy way for the tie day. Player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? Gotta be quick. Get in the mix. Whoa, whoa. Push six. The category is French dictators and Swedish pop groups. And this one's going to be worth $1,000. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. All right, which ABBA song might you expect to be about Napoleon? Take a chance on me, Waterloo, Dancing Queen, or Mamma Mia? Oh, player two, what do you say? Waterloo, that nice little vacation spot where Napoleon got his butt kicked. And coincidentally, I think Napoleon's middle name was Bjorn. Go figure. Let's have a category, player two. All right, let's see what we're doing here. We can work it out if you hand me the vice grips. This question's gonna be worth $2,001 bills. TV's Ward and June Cleaver governed their family so well, I bet they would have made great politicians. If Ward said to June, let's let the beaver work his problems out for himself. What type of political theory would he be demonstrating? Laissez-faire, totalitarianism, grassroots politics, or big government? Go for it, player one. Laissez-faire, it means to let them do as they choose. In other words, lay off the beef. Player one, give me a category. Yeah, man. Come yeah. Along to question eight. The category behind this question is sugary personalities. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Okay, get yourself set, it's time. Who of the following should not be profiled in a People magazine article titled The Three Musketeers, Where Are They Now? Aramis, Porthos, Donatello, or Athos? Go for it, player three. Donatello. Yeah, he'd be in the People article, Renaissance Artists, Where Are They Now? And of course, the answer would be, you know, dead. Okay, we need a category from player three. What's your sign? It's number nine. Next up. 
foie gras faux pas. Okay, this one might be a toughie. It's worth 3,000 bucks. All right, Prometheus is at last unbound, and he's coming over for an evening of music and lighthearted conversation. Because its name might bring back some unpleasant memories for Prometheus, which band should not be a part of your playlist? Air Supply, Depeche Mode, Anthrax, or the Eagles? Go for it, player two. An eagle? An eagle ripped out Prometheus' liver every day for a few hundred years. Yeah, he probably doesn't want to be reminded of that. And also, I hear he hates Don Henley. What do you say, player two? How about it? The name in this category is All the Way from A to Z. And this one's going to be worth $3,000. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. Approximately how many years has it been since one could walk across a single landmass from the current location of Arkansas to present-day Zimbabwe? 500,000, 200 million, 70 billion, or 1 trillion? Player two, what do you say? It's been 200 million years since the Earth was one big happy continent. Unfortunately, the continent split just days after the Arkansas-Zimbabwe Railroad was completed. We've got 10 questions down, and for 10 more, we're going on to round two. <laughs> All right, taking out some screws here. And, uh, I've been looking for this pen cap. Um, okay, here we go, one for everyone. Now, we are one round away from the jack attack, and all the questions in this round are going to be worth more than a round one. So pay attention, and let's do it. Okay, we need a category. Your pick, player two. This one's gonna be Morning at the Disco. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. Hang on tight, cause here we go. In which of these tear jerky 1970s classics did someone not die at the end? Wildfire, Run Joey Run, Mandy, or Don't Be a Hero? Player, Player one, who do you wanna stick it to today? Player two, you're getting screwed, make the most of it. Mandy. The only people dying in this song were the ones listening to it. Oh, by the way, guess what, player one? You're the one who's screwed. Player two, pick one. Uh-oh, best butts fits mine, whore. Once again, it's time for a Tinker Lake Test Drive. Here's your gibberish category. Hair transplants and sports arenas. We're in round two, so this gibberish question is going to start off at $10,000. Okay, now remember, the faster you solve this puzzle, the more money you win. You ready? What snappy comeback does this rhyme with? Click and fit hair, a fun won't line. And one, it's often said out of anger. It's an angry statement about putting things in their place. Looks like this question's putting you in your place. Last hint, it's dark in there. About as dark as your prospects for getting this right. I tell you what, I'll give you one more hint. It has to do with what you can do with your stinking score. Why don't you just click fit, hair of fun won't line. Careful, if you stick it too far, you'll need a proctologist to find it again. Player one, pick one. Question 13. Here's the category. Killing time and killing your friends. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. Oh no, the miners are all dead. Scouts keep getting blown up by bombs and the marshal was just killed by a spy while he was looking for a flag. What popular game is being played? Missed, capture the flag, risk, or stratego? Go for it, player two. Stratego, a strategy game of killing and domination. Perfect for kids entering those troubled teen years. Category player two, let's do it. 
the category. But have you seen his Netherlands? And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. What is Mexico's official name when translated from Spanish? Mexico and Tobago, Mexico Land, United Soviet Socialist Republic of Mexico, or United Mexican States? Go for it, player one. United Mexican States. Everyone calls it Mexico, but if it had a driver's license, it would say United Mexican States and have a really bad photo like everybody else. Player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? Uh-oh. West truck licks nine more. Once again, it's time for a ticklish past go. The category for this gibberish question? The wholesome snack kids love. The opening value for this gibberish question is going to be 10,000 bucks. Okay, now remember, you don't have all the time in the world here. The less time you take, the more money you make. Okay, you ready? What phrase does this rhyme with? Please, Newts. We roars. It's all yours, player two. Type in your answer and hit return. He skates in all alone. Please, Newts, we roar! What do you say, player two? How about? Flush your head down the latrine. Ease your way with sour cream. 16. The category is Hallmark Cards and Concrete Ponds. You get this question right, you pocket six grand. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. Which character on the Beverly Hillbillies is the only one who should logically send Granny a card on Grandparents Day? Jed, Miss Hathaway, Jethro, or Ellie Mae? <laughs> Player two, who you want to screw? <laughs> Player three, what are you going to do about it? Ellie Mae, Granny's true granddaughter. Player two, I know you didn't want it to work out this way, but you're the one who screwed. Player three, select the category. The category behind this question is Superman and color perception. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. What if Lois Lane did a sizzling expose on tights wearing vigilantes and when Superman read it, he was pissed off? If Superman accused Lois Lane of yellow journalism, what exactly would he be complaining about? Her story was sensationalistic, Lois is afraid to tell the truth, Lois has jaundice, or the story portrays him in a bad light. Player one, go nuts! Sensationalism. Yellow journalism was sensationalistic reporting to attract readers. Boy, glad those days are over. Player one, pick one. Song to city. Next up, it's been how long? And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4,000 bucks. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. According to tradition, which of the following would be the most appropriate gift to give your spouse on your first anniversary? Silk, panties, chrome, handcuffs, divorce, papers, or rubber gloves? Go for it, player two. Divorce papers. The one-year anniversary gift is paper, and what better way to show how much you care? Let's have a category, player two. All right, let's see what we're doing here. KC and the sentence construction band. A right answer will get you two Gs for this question. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. Shake, 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 shake your booty is the title of a big disco hit and also an example of what kind of clause? Declarative, imperative, interrogative, or expletive? Player three, take it. An imperative is a command or a plea. Here's another example. Please sing something else so I can get this damn song out of my head. Player three, pick a category for me. Ooh, uh, question number 20. This one's gonna be bizarre mating rituals. It's gonna be worth $4,000. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. 
According to the commercial, if a man you've never met before suddenly gives you flowers, that's weird, Anjoli, Charlie, or Impulse. Player three, who would you like to screw? You gotta answer it, player two. Anjoli? Uh-uh. That's when you bring home the bacon. Player one, player three, who's taking it? And here's the right answer. Impulse. Now don't you think if he's standing close enough to know that you're wearing a feminine deodorant spray, he should be giving you more than flowers? Player one, give me a category. Two words match, and you got 2,000 bucks. Buzz in when there isn't a match, and you lose 2,000. And don't forget, it's not any old match we're looking for. It's the one that fits this clue. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid? You should be. You should be very afraid. So give yourself a pat on the back and tell yourself, you don't know Jack. The fun show started on BSI. Next up is an all-new bloopers, Miss Absent. Excellent show, everybody. Hey, um, Cookie, uh, what are we going to do with these contestants? Uh, yeah, I'm checking it out. Hey, uh, listen, you guys, if you want to play again, you just let me know whenever you're ready, okay? Uh, hey, Susie, what are you doing Saturday night? You want to go driving with me? Sorry, Jimmy, but there won't be enough room in the car for you, me, and your zit. Hey, Bucky Jack. Hey, that chin needs a road rag. What'd you do? Wash your face with a golf cleat? This looks like a job for new Spackney. Spackney? What gives? Spackney. It's speckle for your acne. Less colored mortar that you apply with our new neon spatulators. It's waterproof, windproof, flame retardant, and scuff resistant. Spackney. It'll smooth you out. Spackney. Works better than grout. Spackney. Say adios to your acne. Also available, back knee for your stubborn back acne, and for those really hard to reach places, try new crack knee. Hi, my name is Tammy, and I have a wart on my lip. I know you want to touch it, and run your finger along its hairy surface. I wish you were here rubbing salve on it right now. And if you're very, very good, I'll let you rub ointment on my other moles and boils. Ooh, I can't wait. Call me. They're throbbing. Call 976-WART. $10 per minute. You've climbed the ladder of success as high as it will take you. And you deserve a chair, no, a throne, that is worthy of your upper esh tush. Execu throne. throne. Made from the finest Corinthian leather and the hardiest Chinese porcelain known to man, the Execu throne permits you to stay at your desk 24 hours a day, so you won't lose those important business calls if nature should happen to call. 
Hello? No, that's not what I said. I said sell! Marge, get in here. I need you to take a letter. Man, I shouldn't have eaten that pot roast for lunch. Good thing I've got my execu throne. Uh... Thanks, execu throne. The execu throne, for when you're too busy to do your business anywhere else. If your dolly's got a pain that hurts her little back, could be something that she ate or just a mild heart attack. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, just open up her chest. Make sure she won't go into a cardiac arrest. Kitko's got a toy that'll make her heart start beating. It's got little plastic paddles and band-aids to stop the bleeding. Spun the paddles on her chest, count to three and zap away. Clear! And watch your Kitko defibrillator bring her back to life today. The Kitko defibrillator, because cardiopulmonary resuscitation can be fun.